So everyone's on my deck this morning. So I thought I might as well feed them here then. All kinds of little birds. Big birds and little birds. Yes, and you're just sitting there waiting, aren't you? There's a currawong in the back there. That big black bird with a bit of white on its tail. What else have we got this morning? Normally they just sit up on the railing, but if there's a bit of food that's dropped on the on the deck, they'll come out and, and grab it. It's a noisy miner, those little ones. G'day guys! Welcome back. So I just did that other metallic pour on my 30 centimetre round, 12 inch round, and I wasn't that happy with it. And I said to you, I'm going to go again and I'm going to pour the paints down the side. When I did the other one, this one, I looked back on the video and I actually layered four times. I drizzled the paint four times. I think that's why I've got more of a bit of a, um, a washed out sort of a look. My metallics aren't popping the way I would like them to. So, going again, I bought 10 of these. <laughs> I can't have used them all in one day though. That would just be too much, wouldn't it? Can't afford to keep buying all these canvases, but I do want to try the rounds. Righto, so I'm going again, and I'm going to layer the paint this time. I'm going to pour it down the side the same as I do when I'm doing a ring pour. Same pouring medium, 60% glue, 40% water. Same paints. I've got the Sargent's Metallic Gold, Sargent's Metallic Silver, and my Global Black. Uh, I thought I'm going to use it again. I will try with the Artist Loft Black another time just to see if there's any difference. Rightio. Now, I have made equal amounts of each paint. I haven't reduced the silver this time. See, now I think, I look back on that one, I think it's too pale. I would have liked a little bit more silver. But it could be just because I drizzled and not layered, but we'll see. So I've got equal amounts. I've got 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of silver, 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of gold. This one I did 60 grams of pouring medium and 55 grams of black just because the black thickens up so quickly. And I'm just going to add just a little few drops of water. Maybe that's why I kind of lost the black rings last time because my black might have been too thick to pop up around them. Might have just all sunk to the background. Oops, splurged on my hand. Let me wipe that off. Oh, it's getting hot in here. I'm going to turn the air conditioner on. It's just humid. It's been raining all day. It just feels really muggy. Let me just turn it on. I'm only going to be in here for a short period of time. Half an hour and then I'm going to go and get ready. Um, oh, I'm going to the movies tonight, date night, yay. Uh, going to see Captain Marvel, so that's exciting. I'm not really into superhero movies, but apparently it's one of the highest rating movies out there. So that's what I'm going to go and do tonight. I'm going to go to the, go and have some dinner just down at the um, our local shopping centre. Nothing, nothing too special, just, you know, some, a burger and fries. <laughs> And then go and see a movie. Right, so I'm going to do the same thing as I did with my rectangle. When I did the card, layered the colours, and I'm only going to do two layers. So half of it in there, a little bit of black, just a little bit like that. Half of the silver, a little bit of black, and the rest of the gold. Oh, that's a bit much. Might have to do three layers. A little bit of black. More silver. 
Yeah, I think there's just too much paint to do two layers. So there we go, two and a half, three layers. It's probably three. But they're good, thick layers. They're not drizzled layers like the last one was. Because when I was drizzling, the paint was kind of falling right through. I, remember, I, think, I think you might have remembered me saying, oh, the paint's falling through, but anyway, we're going to keep going and with the drizzling, so we did. So let's just see if it makes a difference how we layer, hey? I'll do the experimenting for you. <laughs> but Johnny, how you go? I'd like to see it. And finish off with a little bit of black. There we go. Do I want to use it all? Mm, no. Do I? Do I? No. Let's just leave it. Probably don't need all that paint. I've got more than 300 grams here. Oh, you guys. I forgot the silicone. Oh, no. I forgot the silicone. What am I going to do? You guys didn't remind me. I was talking too much. Forgot it. Um, let's pour and maybe drip this on afterwards because it seems a shame to waste it. Oh no! Never ever done that before. Stop talking too much. Just shut up, Julie, and concentrate on what you're doing. Can't believe I did that. I've never done that. Oh well, I'll just, um, if you haven't got a spray gun, I could put this in in a spray gun and like spray it out. I'll just drip it on. What can you do, hey? No point crying over spilt paint. <laughs> oh God, you've got to laugh, don't you? You've got to laugh, you got to cry. I'll most likely scrape this again. Redo it. What a waste of paint. There we go. It's pretty. I'm getting a few cells. <laughs> and that's because I'm using the same cups that I used. I didn't put oil in, did I? No. I don't think I did. Did I? No, I don't think I did. Now I've got myself second guessing. All right, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit on my fingers and just like, oh, 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 that was excessive. All right, that's enough. Wow, that was a bit too much. That was a bit too much. I just sort of went like that. I'm not going to do it again. Wow. All right, that's too much. <laughs> I'm going to have to pour some of that off. Okay, so if you forget your silicone, just splash it on afterwards. Oh dear. I'm a worry. I really like that. This has got a lot of silver over the top. It's pretty you haven't got gold underneath. I like the silicone underneath that can bring the gold up to the surface. But no. Alright, um, I'm going to... I'll just start tilting. What can you do? At least I'll get to still see um, how the colours react with me pouring them down the side instead of um, drizzling them in. See if I get a different outcome. So this is really busy up here, but I am getting my black rings. Look at my black rings, you guys. It's a beautiful gold stripe there. Again, it's very dark. I, did, I didn't cut back on the silver this time, didn't I? I would like more gold like that to come through. Oh dear, I can't believe I forgot my oil. I'm going to have 
to scrape this one and do it again with the oil. Look at those cells. They've got gold rings. This is what I'm after, the rings around. Now, I don't know if that's to do with the layering or that's just because I've made my black a little bit thinner this time around. Okay, I need to get some of this off because it's just too much. Well, that, I flicked that oil. It's just too much. I don't want to lose all those pretty cells on the sides though. Just need to get some of these little ones to move. So can you guys see a difference at all in the the outcome because I layered differently? It's a bit hard to tell because this is just so busy. I've certainly got the gold rings there. I've got the black rings here. Have I got the rings on this one? Not so much. Not really. There's a few rings but not a lot mm. I am gonna have to do it again and um, put the silicone oil in because I just can't get a very clear experiment because I did it wrong but this is it's a lot darker isn't it I think it's a lot darker Still not as bright as this one. This one you can see a clear layer of the silver over the top. But that was different, that was a flip and drag. Whereas this one obviously I just flipped. Um, so I like those gold rings there, those are really pretty. And then on this side we've got some black rings. This is just too busy. I'm going to scrape it anyway, so let's do some balloon dipping in it and, and see what it looks like, eh? Why not? Seems I'm going to scrape it anyway. This is just too, it's too dark over here. I think if I had remembered to put the oil in, then the oil would be underneath and when I torched it, it would come to the surface and bring the gold up with it. But because I didn't do that, the silicone was just sitting on top. That's why I don't have any of the colours coming up from underneath. Does that make sense? hope so. Okay, let's do some dipping. Pretty, pretty. Now the problem over here is there's nothing there. I wonder what will happen if I torch there. I'm not going to get any petals over here where it's very blank. A few little tiny ones come up. I'm just going to do one there and then one there and that'll do. Doesn't matter if there's no petals over there, I guess. See the difference? See, there's no, there were no cells over there, so there's no petals. Where's this one? The cells have been incorporated into the petals and they look really pretty. So that's the difference. It doesn't matter how many times you go over it, you're still not going to get petals if there's no cells. So there you go. Well, somebody did ask me to do a video 
where I sprayed on, I think it was um, Rain-X she asked for. I don't have Rain-X, but there you go. <laughs> I splashed silicone oil over the top. And it still worked. Admittedly, you know, it didn't bring cells up from underneath, which is what I like to do, multicolored cells up from underneath. But it still worked. So there you go. All right, I'm going to scrape this baby and I will be right back. See you soon.